E-L, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Kim wants the first wife title. Okay, this sounds like we've heard this or seen this one before, but it's new. I'm not sure if this is when he brings the cow to the mom. People have been commenting like, I can't believe you haven't done that one yet. I'm waiting for them to post a clip about it. <laughs> I like how Kim probably thinks being the first wife matters. Like, as if she would get, like, more say in the relationship. But I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, obviously, so let's just see what happens. How could this not go good? But before we do, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on Patreon.com slash WineboxPoppy. You guys truly help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. Every video gets instantly demonetized. That's why every YouTuber, like, mutes and bleeps out swears. That would take me hours, man. If there's views on the video... Put ads. Doesn't make sense, but to fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy and to support this channel, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. Oh, man. Where's the cow? Not Kimberly, the other one. Wow, this is inherently compelling. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. Oh, like the bribe thing is what got me. Oh my God, this is after the cow. These fucking cunts. TLC did this on purpose, I'm telling you. Dude, I know for a fact they did. They'll post it. They want those views as bad as everybody else. Come on. They still copyright claim. Because people commented saying that like the mom didn't like it. She saw it as a bribe, which is exactly what it was. I was thinking when you said that you allow me to get a uh, second wife for me to get children, I was thinking maybe that would touch them. But they just turn it upside down. What I'm saying here is that we have certain culture over here that you can never go against too. See, if I was a good YouTuber, I would go back and find the video of the cow thing and do that. But I don't think I can. I would have no idea where to find the full episode, to be honest with you. And I am not going to skim through an hour of this bullshit. But there's also no continuity on this channel. I just want to talk shit about these cunts. This might make the cow interaction better. It's like watching a movie trailer of a fight. But I hope you have seen how much, how much I love you. I know, I'm, I know. I, believe me, I totally get it. And you know how my mom is to me. You know how oh, I see I my mom. Yeah, I think after God, I, I see my mom second God to me. I have literally never heard anybody say that before. Not even on Smothered. My mom is my second god. Wow, that's a pretty disappointing deity. One created the universe and one created fucking you. So, what she said, that I must have married to another before lady marry. before marrying me, for that purpose, I actually can't go against her. You know I love you, I don't have to tell then, you that. Then it's over. Yes, it's over. Let's see how strong she sticks to that. Was I right about where she feels like she has to be the first wife? I think I was right. I'm not going to be the second wife. I, just, I can't. I can't let myself be like that, you know? Yeah, because when you two girls are swapping cum, it really matters who's the first wife. But do you because think the whole thing of me marrying me first is to make me the first wife and then have this other woman for children. I hate talking about this seriously and not saying jokes about it, but do you see how she's referring to the other woman? She says, I'm the first wife. And she's just some woman who's going to have a kid. She's just some stupid bitch. As if this isn't going to be like a three-person family. This bitch is so out of touch, it's hilarious. You can see how bad he really wants that green card. He said so many outs to this relationship. I think that was a lot, and I respect the fact that she said that, and that's a lot. But for me, I, I, I won't do that. I won't be anybody's second anything. She really thinks the first wife, like, gets priority and shit. Wow. Also, I can't stop thinking that Kim kind of looks like a monkey. Maybe I, I haven't seen a monkey in person. I also haven't seen Kim in person. When they said that, like, I could be the second wife and so whoever he picks could be the first, I was just like, okay, okay, no. In my head, I'm like, hell no. In a way, it was like a, his mom was giving me a compromise, but I can't make any more exceptions because I have exactly what I want now, like his love. Huh, if that's all you want is his love, sounds like you shouldn't care about being the second wife or not. It is so funny to me how against this she is. TLC must love this. Because imagine if she was okay with it. 
We wouldn't even be here right now. And I, w I feel like the love for he has for me now would change with that. Getting the title of the first wife is so important to me because in previous relationships, I always came second. Always. I was always pushed to the side, and I'm not going to let that happen to me again. Yeah, because you can't be pushed to the side if your title is first wife. If you came numerically before the other woman, he definitely can't use you then. I can't believe this is a full-grown adult woman. I don't care if he came here right now and proposed to me with the biggest diamond in the world. I'm not his second. Sorry, I can't. I know my worth. So just by being the second wife, she is worth less. Interesting. I want this relationship to continue, and I want the third wife, or second wife to be there so I can see how she treats her. She says she doesn't want to see her, though, which is hilariously stupid, uh, just like Kimberly. You know, like, I don't mind you being first or second. Like, I don't care. I just want to be with you. Just the way you want to be with and you. and I understand that, but you know, I, so can't. Like, um, I can't. You can be second? No. Okay, fine. We are in this together. <laughs> you are in Sokoto. And you pay your own tribute every time with your own money. That means you're in it. So we're doing this together, right? Yes. We're in this together right now. Kimberly, I'm not talking to you. I'm on my phone right now. I'm on the AirPods. You know, I'm talking to the first wife, the one in the, who's more important. But yeah, shouldn't it be enough that they're like together and stuff like that? Because nobody from afar is going to be like, oh, she's the first wife. We're all just going to think you're a fucking loser, dude. Look at that sister wife. She hates this. No, no, no. She's the first one. That's different. That means she's more important, even though the second wife is the one who's going to be having his children. Who do you think he's going to like more? Why not thinking of how we can solution. get the solution? Okay. I just don't know what else I can do to prove I'm a good person. I know this might be weird to hear from me when the about for this channel is professional asshole, but if you have to prove that you're a good person, probably not a good person. That's something you shouldn't have to prove. That's like Kim being like, I want to prove how pretty I am. You can't. But I will, I'll do it. Yeah. And I'm willing to fight with you, but I'm not willing to be second anything. So I'm willing to see how we, what we can do in the next couple days, and then if things just don't, I can't. <laughs> she's gonna throw away her whole marriage she's gonna have for the rest of her life over a technicality. <laughs> Guys, she has painful pride to a fault. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like, I get it initially. I get what she's saying, right? But past being the age of 14, I could kind of get how it doesn't matter. Could totally see past it. But Kimberly is a fucking idiot. Oh, my bad. Kimberly. That whole clip was just her repeating she doesn't want to be the second wife. That's what the whole thing was. Post the cow clip, you fucks. Do it. They will. I think. I hope. Because, I mean, I want to see Kim get shit on by the mom. If you've got a clip of it, send me it. But yeah, let me know if you think Kimberly is also the dumbest person on earth, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see some more shit like this, I actually do stand-up comedy over on my second channel, youtube.com slash Mark Karski. Mark Karski! You work at, you do wood chipping, you throw wood into a wood chipper for a living? I fix them. You fix wood chipping? I fix them, dog. Oh, I, was gonna, I, was, I was gonna ask if you've ever thought about like throwing yourself in one. Every day! <laughs> Did you hate your job so much? You can get a new job, you know that. Why don't you get a new job? Mortgage, bro! Mortgage! Uh, Oh yeah, other jobs don't pay. There's probably there's jobs that pay more. You could have extra money. <laughs> I have a series called The Comedian where I post every single set. Like I vlog in the car, uh, talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast, breaking down how the set went. Uh, like you get to see open mic one to set 110 I just posted, or 113. So you get to see how cringy bad it was to not as bad now. And I think people might be like interested what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. So if you're interested, youtube.com slash Markarski. If not, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I love you. Mwah.